Hooray! Uh, mine. It's always time for a photo op. What am I doing today? Let me look at my script. Okay, the script says, June the Fox, how to flirt with Tony the Tiger. Okay. Hi everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to this crazy corner of the internet where sometimes we have to learn how to interact in a very flirtatious way with all of God's creatures. <laughs> I already hate where this is going. This is so simple, okay? It's as simple as it sounds. I just had a really crazy idea the other day. <laughs> we go to furry conventions, right? You have animal people, creature, human, homo sapien creatures from all over the Pangaea animal kingdom, okay? And they all come visit a hotel and there's activities, there's panels, there's dances, there are all kinds of fun stuff, right? You might flirt with any of them or any of them might flirt with you. And basically it's all one big, slightly sexual kumbaya. But here's the thing. What if, oh my God, what if there were company mascots that came to animal furry conventions as well? And what if, they also engaged in the flirting game. What would that be like? See, we like thought experiments on this channel. Subscribe for more crazy ideas. <laughs> I picked eight mascots that I really enjoy and decided, okay, if I met them at a furry convention, what would I say to them so that I could sound like a stereotypical fox? And that's how we arrived at the conglomerate tomfoolery fuckery thing that we have for you today. <laughs> so, this is how to flirt with Tony the Tiger and other unfortunate souls. <laughs> Our first victim today is Chester Cheetah. <laughs> it's the spots, I'm telling you. So you see him, right? You're walking down a hallway at a hotel. You see Chester Cheetah, what would you say to him? You know, my flirting game is just like Cheetos. Dangerously cheesy. Get me in the car and I'll be your go snack. You're just like flaming hot Cheetos, deliciously hot. Do all your spots taste this good? Remember when we skipped geometry class together? You're such a cute cheetah. What about the car fox? What if you saw the car fox at a convention, right? Your eyes glisten like brand new key fobs. That was a fox simile. When I see you, I see the hottest deals for the smoothest wheels. Hey, 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 you dropped something. Don't worry, I'll pick it up for you. Wouldn't want you to spill any more beans. Toe beans, toe beans, ears are super tall. How do you fit that cute muzzle into such a small space? It's because he has a cute and tiny face. Guys, I'm really going to need you to be about PG-13 on this video, okay? You make me want to shift into something more comfortable. Are you guys cringing yet? Like this video, this is highly cringe for you. <laughs> okay, how about Ronald McDonald? <laughs> He's not a furry, but he is a clown. Sometimes you gotta be down to clown. Let me show you how I toast my McBuns. Ooh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what they say about big feet. Your nose isn't the only thing that's big and round. Oh, I can supersize that for you. That was so much fun. Wanna make it a McDouble? Here's my next victim, Quickie. <laughs> the Nesquik Bunny. Y'all remember the Nesquik Bunny? I've forgotten about this bunny. I feel like Quickie is the mascot that I actually legitimately would see at a furry convention. You know what they say about long ears? Toe beans, toe beans, ears are super tall. Can I hop on top of that chocolatey taste? I bet your chocolate milk isn't the only thing that's good to the last drop. He makes hot chocolate too, I think. I don't really know. Now I know why they call you Quickie. That's one for after the fact, right? So you, you meet him, you have a whole conversation. It's a 30 second conversation. You're like, oh, well, you're obviously super fast. Are you a Peter or a Cottontail? <laughs> Let me hop down your happy trail. Mr. Clean. Again, 
probably wouldn't see him at a furry convention, but I feel like he would be there to hang out with the housekeepers. So look, you gotta tip your housekeepers, right? There's no clean like Mr. Clean, and there's no dirty like when I'm flirty. Your cleaning products aren't the only genie in a bottle here. I hear you know your way around golf balls. No, really, this was an actual thing. I'm, I swear to God. <laughs> they say you're tough on dirt. Well, I've been a very dirty fox. The Energizer Bunny. I know what you're thinking. Hear me out. He's a bunny. He's pink. Big bass drum. How do you lose, you know? Is it true that you just keep going and going? You supply the power, I'll supply the carrots. You really know how to beat up a bass drum. Your sunglasses make you so cool and me so hot. For me, you'll need a big D battery. Although, do they burn out quicker if you use more than one battery? I never know how this works. The Kool-Aid Man. You probably wouldn't see him at a furry convention either, but what if you did? That's what it's all about today. It's all about possibilities. When I'm around you, I just feel so thirsty. You always look like a tall drink of water with aspartame and sugar and red number 40. You're the tastiest jughead I've ever met. You must be really strong if you can break through all those walls. He's a demolition man. That was a great movie, by the way. And last but not least, our favorite tiger dad, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> If I ever see him at a furry convention, my life is made forever. You can frost my flakes, daddy. You know somebody said it. Don't come after me in the comments. You know somebody said that online. And it was probably me. <laughs> I'll do anything to earn my stripes. Your growls are more than good. They're great. You really know how to pack a ton of flavor into a small space. Frosted flakes can help bring out the tiger in me. But what if I want to keep the tiger inside? And that, my friends, is how you flirt with mascots that did not ask for any pickup lines whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not really good at flirting, but I can always practice. So if there's anybody else that I should do pickup lines with, let me know in the comments below because I'm always down to like have a fun time and say silly things and put sticks of butter directly on my ears so that I'm always greasy. If there's anything you want to see in a future video, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video, where maybe I'll behave myself and not be so cringy, but don't count on it. Bye.